Okay, the plan is. What's up guys, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and we have a few motorcycle tank projects that we're going to bang out. Uh, the first is a, I'm not sure what that is, but this is a Sportster. This is another Harley uh, motorcycle tank uh, with the gas on the side here. This is a 883, came off of a, pretty sure. It has a dent over here which we're gonna fix. The handlebars got turned and push this section in here, bent that. This is a super easy fix. I'm gonna see if I can salvage uh, this design though, because I like this and it's gonna be hard to replicate. So I'm gonna see if we can sand this out with like a 2000 grit and even down in here I'm not worried about because I could mask that and paint it black again. Um, but I wanna keep this inside somehow if I could mask this and then just repaint the outside part of it. We'll see what we can do there. And this is a Honda Rebel gas tank that I got um, that we're gonna completely take off the Rebel, take off this pinstriping that was cleared over. Okay, a lot of these motorcycle tanks, they do clear over the pinstriping. So this looks like, this Rebel here looks like it's on the outside of the paint, which can be Peeled off, there you go, look. So if we take a look at it here, it actually can be peeled off. Okay, which we're gonna get rid of this. Okay, it looks like they cleared over this decal. Kinda weird how they did that. They cleared over the decal because this is like a flat uh, paint underneath, if you can see. And then we can feel the clear on the outside. Really weird how they did that. So they sprayed the base, they put the decal on and they cleared over it. And I was able to peel, peel the decal off. Uh, but this pinstripe here looks like it is The same way, they put it on and they cleared it, but they put a very, very light coat of clear coat on this here. If we can see, they based it, put the pinstripe on, and I can't believe how thin of a clear coat they put on. Because we can take a look here and we can see that it's it. they clear coated over it, but they put really, really clean, thin clear coat. Um, on. Uh, I've never seen this before. And this was a basic Chinese uh, knockoff, I believe, that I got from eBay. See, that just comes right off like that. Okay, so they sprayed the base. Looks like. Um, and then they put the pinstripe on, masked the pinstripe, and sprayed the black on it. Because some of the black even got on this part here. It's pretty funny. Anyway, we're going to sand this all down and uh, coat the whole thing with silver. Followed by some custom candy colors. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're going to do. See if this can come off. This is in there a little bit better under the clear coat so i'm gonna have to dig that up a little bit but if you could peel it off rather than sand it off it's going to save you some sandpaper and you know be a lot quicker as well because if you're gonna if this was really buried under the clear coat <clears throat> deep deep this was very they just put like one coat on <clears throat> then it would be very hard to peel off if, if they buried it like I normally do. But um, this is pretty damn easy to... This one's a little harder. Basically gotta cut through the clear a little bit. Here we go. Okay, now you can see the line of clear coat. 
okay? So this saves us from sanding all the adhesive off. Okay, now it's gonna be easy. Okay, all we have to do is peel this off. I might get a razor blade, in fact. Okay, let's actually <clears throat> do this now. Got a razor blade. Just gonna cut through the clear. Okay. Boom. Okay, that's the base coat. So they based it, put the decal on, and cleared it. You can see the clear here. Okay, so we're gonna sand the clear down, feather all these edges out, and put new silver base coat over the whole thing, maybe do some graphics or whatever, and then do our candy coat. We're gonna do all of these tank projects in some sort of candy, uh, except maybe for this one here. I don't know, maybe we could possibly do this candy as well, the outer part, and then keep the center black. A green, green candy would look good, a blue candy would look good. Blue candy would actually look really well. So we'll figure it out. Um, this has a lot of overspray on it now. It's been sitting around the shop. I've been spraying and it's just been sitting out. But what I wanna do is mainly see if I can salvage this inner part because I like the design already. It's, you know, it's classic. This is a decal under here, which they cleared over big time. So it's gonna be very hard to uh, peel off like the, like the Honda Rebel I just did, right? You're not gonna be able to do that with your nail. Um, with the razor, you could possibly do it, but I don't want to. This looks like paint to me, like a hand, hand stenciled in, you know, paint. But let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and just 2000 around here, see if we have a pretty good finish, like if we could take these little nicks out, these little scratch marks, um, as well as maybe, yeah, that we don't have to worry about because we're gonna actually paint. Uh, but my main thing is actually doing the body work here this dent without getting into this section and I'm gonna try to salvage it you know this I'm not sure exactly what tank it is I forgot what it was I bought it again on eBay I'm not sure what model it might have been a classic Honda some sort of Honda tank classic I'm not sure exactly what model it was but uh, we're gonna go ahead and custom paint this as well put a cool graphic design on it and, um, and yeah, 